Hawk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, and have I got a one on Wednesday for you? Yeah, well, you're seeing multiples, aren't you? <laughs> well, let me uh, explain what we're going to be talking about today. Um, we're talking about this little bugger right here. This is the 18, 2018 Land Rover Vogue SE, or otherwise known as the um, uh, Long Wheelbase LB, LB, uh, what they call LL, uh, LWB. Yeah, they somewhere around here they they call it an LWB. Yeah, Matchbox Super Fast. Anyway, this is the one we're going to be talking about today because. Um, this is the first one of Wednesday that I ever did on this channel. We're not doing it because it's anniversary time or anything like that. It's just, it, it's kind of time to just, you know, do it again. So anyway, so this is it. And, uh, this was the first release and this is the box. Uh, this is the packaging. It was the 50th anniversary of super fast. And, um, and yeah, like we say, the number four in the series, 2018 or 18 Range Rover LWB Matchbox Super Fast 50th Anniversary, number four. And this came out in um, 2019. It's uh, trademark 2018, but it come out in 2019. And uh, this was the first one. This is the blue one. It com commemorated the uh, 60 five years of matchbox or um yeah i think it was matchbox yeah but it's 50th anniversary uh oh uh 50th anniversary for super fast 65 years for matchbox and uh this one here we won't open up because uh as you notice um it should have the hood open or the the trunk open and this is part of a moving parts vehicle and the trunk was not opened. You can see the plastic. Oh, get the rid of the glare. The plastic inside has the spot for it to be opened, like this one here. But uh, this was not open, so uh, that's that's staying like that. So then it came with uh, a box, and you can put the little bugger in a box. This is a quick look here of the box. Very very nice. Yep, 2019 is when it actually came out. So uh, pretty cool, so pretty cool. So then came uh, this one here. This one is, uh, this one came out uh, 2020, I believe. Yep, still super fast. Recolor in the orange, same wheels and everything. Different um, uh, box and packaging kind of, but this is the 2018 Range Rover Vogue SE, which matches uh, what it says on the on the bottom of the uh, vehicle. So there was the set. Oh, I suppose we could have looked at the set. I'm, I'm sure you guys are, well, this one didn't have a picture of the set. Yeah, no picture of the set on that one. All right, so anyway, that was number four. This one here is number 10, isn't it? Yeah, 10. Um, so they had five first and then uh, five later on and uh, opening parts, uh, but it didn't have opening uh, doors. It had the rear opening hatch. Now this one, they didn't even try to open the hatch in production. They just go right ahead and just have it shut and there it is. So uh, that was the next one. Here's the look at the box. Uh, recolor of that uh, way different you know than the blue one but uh, kind of the same but kind of different so yeah pretty kind of cool pretty kind of cool more generic I would say but uh, yeah oh there's more yeah that's kind of a far shot uh, there's that the same shot it just seems that one just seems closer <laughs> It's the same shot. Anyway, so there's the orange one. And uh, yeah, just a beautiful model. This one was kind of funny. I don't know if you can really see that. Yeah, you can. Right on the back there, it's uh, really light. Uh, this is mint out of the box. Um, so I don't know why that kind of had a discoloration right there before the, the moving part. But uh, yeah, so... One, two in orange. 
They, um, this one doesn't want to open the rear hatch on it. That's nice. There we go. Um, same wheels, same base, uh, same uh, deco other than the, the orange one does not have the 65 years of matchbox. Uh, same interior, uh, same license plate, all that good jazz. Oh, no, it doesn't. This one's got the uh, Land Rover Signia on it, and that says MBX. But uh, same color interior. That one just doesn't want to open up. But virtually the same thing, and uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, the next time that we saw this uh, casting is uh, this is came this came out in uh, where's it 2020 as well uh, in the moving parts series, uh, and there it is, beautiful picture, um, not an actual picture, but it's a rendition drawing of of this vehicle. So uh, here it is with the open hatch now, um, but in this, uh, now these retailed um, like uh, five something, 550, something like this. These moving parts one were like um, 297, something like that. And, uh, but they were moving parts and, um, but just did not have the uh, real rider. So here we go, the 2018 Range Rover Vogue SE. Yes, and uh, it doesn't show, there was, it's a whole series, um, but you could, you know, if you want to see more, you can Google that. But anyway, so here it is now in black, and it is the same, you know, um, casting, other than now it has the, uh, Matchbox, um, what is that? 12 spoke wheels, which are very, very nice. Kind of can see that really. But uh, once again, still has the gray base as, as always. Same thing there. Um, the same color interior. Well, no, it doesn't. This has got a gray interior, which these, I'm not gonna do that one because that one doesn't open up very well. Way to go open up and say ah <laughs> now uh this one has the tan interior and this one has a uh, charcoal interior in it so very kind of cool there it's a little bit different um and it kind of makes the window tint a little bit different but it's i believe it's the same tint in the windows as you can see but um boy i wish i could stay focused today uh, but yeah, the gray, the gray interior makes it look like it, uh, doesn't really work out that well. You know, uh, you know, it looks darker. The tint looks darker. Very, very nice car. I really like these. Uh, maybe we should go ahead and take a look at it. Um, so this is a metallic black. Very, very nice. Uh, side tampos. And I don't know even what that says on the bottom there. Or is that just a, a ditty there? I don't know. But they all have that, and um, that's kind of standard. Oops, excuse me. Uh, Range Rover on the clamshell hood with lights and a grill on the front. It does have uh, some uh, a little bit of uh, coloring there on the bottom too. You can kind of see it better on the orange, but they do color a little bit on the bottom there side is just as well um now i don't they do put a side marker on the sides here but on the black you can't hardly see it because it's black but uh don't paint the ta tail lights at all but there's a lot more going on now this one uh reverts back to the first one with the mbx license plate and uh yeah the uh Land Rover Black, Land Rover Badge on the left, or on the right, excuse me, and then I think that's the Vogue Badge on the right. Now, the first one had the lights done, the, the back, the back taillights. Uh, that was all done. It even had um, on the back, uh, the low the ground effects on the bottom. Uh, the orange one does not have taillights, but it did have the ground effects uh, you know, grayed out there. So, um, 
they really went the extra mile, I guess, with that first one. So the latest, greatest one that we have to date is this black one. And, um, oh, come on, let's, uh, let's focus. So there it is. Oh, I tell you, maybe it's just uh, hard to focus on that black. I'm not really sure. So anyway, you can't really tell. There's not really any painting or uh, details on the bottom. They, you know, they do have this here um, on the rear bo bottom quarter panel, but that's about it. Uh, trim underneath the Range Rover, uh, which they all kind of have that. That's pretty neat. But anyway, um, yeah, we're on to about 11 minutes already. So what I wanted to do was uh, see if we could make one of these black ones with the... Uh, the the real rider. So this one, I had custom made. Uh, you know, uh, these here they they drag a little bit. They're not really all that freewheeling because the the back set of wheels uh, drag on the interior a little bit. Now with the uh, no non real riders, they really coast pretty good. So anyway, oh, so uh, let's let's get down here and take a look at this. So anyway, I took uh, wheels, because I like to keep Matchbox in the Matchbox. I took wheels off of this one, because I had a ton of these. And I put this on this one here, which is kind of the same um, the same style, but it's just smaller diameter. So it would, uh, wouldn't would rub as, as much. So, um, okay, that's fine, you know. So let's, uh, let's try, um, now this one here, I... I um, drilled this one out so we could take these and this one's really if you can't hear that i don't know what you can hear but anyway <laughs> well let's take these uh real riders and uh put it on with this the other one As a matter of fact we're just gonna go ahead and just rob the base and everything we're not gonna even uh like wheel swap it like that okay we're just gonna swap bases because they're uh, practically they are they're not practically they are the same thing so i lost the uh whoa lost the uh rear hatch there so now it's back in there just held in there by the glass piece so you can just open that up there see yep to make that hatch all right so now we're just gonna plop that right in there this it tags tags in the back snaps in the front there we go. That one uh, rolls really nice now. Oh, you know what? Um, that black one is supposed to have a black interior. Is it not? Yeah, it is. Or a brown interior. Well, where'd, the, where'd the brown interior go? Did I open up one that was uh, a mistake or what? Wow. It, did I just not open that up? <laughs> That was a tan one. That was a black one. They're all, aren't they all black? I just, I just took that one. Here's the tan one for the other one. Wow. What happened there? I don't know what happened there, but that's supposed to be a black interior. Yeah. And it's a tan interior. So <laughs> the mystery goes on. I've got to go check my other ones now. Um, did I? <laughs> did I open up a, an oddball one or what? Or did I just uh, uh, bash, bash, uh, you know, uh, kit bash that in there? But I don't, I don't, I was trying to dig around and see all my other ones um, that I had. But anyway, so there we go. <laughs> that rolls so nice. That rolls so nice now. But now we have the uh, tree. Uh, the only thing is... I'm waiting for this one in its new packaging. They've come out with a white one now. Matchbox, the moving parts one. They're coming out. They're on eBay. They're ferocious parts. Now they're going to have the plastic wheels, but uh, it is this one, and it's in white. So, um, wow, those just look so nice. Look at how nice those look. I can't believe that that it's got tan interior a gray interior and um yeah anyway all right we're on to 50 oh excuse me we're on to 15 minutes i gotta get out of here but there you go it's a one of uh wednesday looking at the first original uh model that i looked at um yeah 2019 yeah i can't believe it two years ago all right hey give me a thumbs up i always forget to 
give a thumbs up, but now I'm zoomed in. Um, come over to Facebook, Roverland uh, Facebook page, uh, Instagram, and hit the like and subscribe button down there. Yeah, do all that. And uh, wow. Whoo, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining your friend Dano on a one up Wednesday. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.